My dad really brought me up to love art, to love music. I didn't really have a hobby until, uh, you know, I started learning film. And uh, since then, I've been in love with film. And as you know, I make as many as I can. And I just love the process of making a film. I really do love it. So, you know, one could say that's my hobby. Uh, it's my passion and my hobby. I'm uh, Manny Kirschheimer. I uh, teach here at the School of Visual Arts. I'm 83 as of a month ago, and uh, uh, it's great to be among my students. I was born in Germany in 1931 uh, in Saarbrücken, Germany, which is a town on the, uh, in the Tsar region, the capital of the Tsar region, right on the French border. Uh, my mother was a housewife. My father was a graphic artist who worked both for newspapers and for uh, large department stores. All my education was in America because I came over when I was five and I immediately went into kindergarten. So uh, then I went um, to high school here and then I went to the City College of New York. You know, I'd, I'd gone in wanting to go into chemistry. Don't ask me why. And found out that City College had the first documentary school in America and it was headed up by Hans Richter, who was a Dadaist filmmaker, experimental filmmaker. And so I went to see him, wondering whether, you know, my dad had said, find out if there's any opportunities in film. So I went to see him and I said, Professor Richter, are there any opportunities in film? And he says, yeah. Opportunities, there are plenty, but no jobs. But he was wrong, of course. There were very few opportunities, but lots of jobs. Anyway, Professor Richter, Hans Richter, was a wonderful mentor, and we became friends. I became a head of the Film Society at City College at the time, and he, uh, once I graduated, he hired me to work with him, and he also got me my first job as a teacher of film right after I graduated. Best place I ever thought at is right here, School of Visual Arts, no question about it. I've been here since 1975 and never regretted it. I love the students, I love my colleagues, and no politics going on here. And so I worked for, I don't know, 50 companies. Uh, but I also worked for the networks. I worked for CBS, ABC, NBC, I worked for Museum of Modern Art, and people's independent films, individual people would hire me to edit an independent film, or a film that was sponsored, but not too heavily sponsored, you know, institutional. Like, I never worked on commercials. I turned down commercials, and I turned down a number of films where I didn't agree with the, uh, the message. Later, I started doing my own independent work as I saved money. Walter Hess and I wanted to make a film. I basically wrote the script, but we had discussed it a great deal, called Dream of the City. And it was a sort of a fantasy film uh, using montage images, that is to say, no dialogue, nothing, no sync, of the city, of the various things that bugged us about the city and about city life. We, we shot this film. We shot 30 hours of this film on our own money whenever we weren't working. Then we tried to edit it. And First, we tried to edit it together. And because that didn't work out, that affected the way I teach and only assign individual projects. Because I saw when I was assigning teams that they were at each other's throats and best friends became worst enemies. So uh, 
and that almost happened with us. I was right by the church. No, no, I'm real tired. I want to do this building, catch it in. You don't think about the sleep. Well, Canners is my recent film, most recent film. And Canners is about street people who make their living by digging into uh, garbage cans and garbage bags to sort out cans and bottles that they redeem in faraway places. It's very, very arduous work. But in this town, those people are all over the place. All over the place. If I have responsive students who get something out of my teaching, then I've accomplished what I wanted to. I'm a very fortunate person, very fortunate, because here I am at this age still doing what I love, making film and explaining things. <laughs> so uh, that's my story.